Hi guys, Viz Tuesday is down in Dirty Woodscraft. Stay with me. Okay, today guys, we're going to talk about a few quick tips and tricks of using the Trangia stoves. Now, these are good stove sets if you're looking for something small and compact and easy to carry along, especially for canoe camping, uh, car camping, that type thing, ATVs. These military sets are, are really a good deal. Now, I've got a few modifications to mine, and we'll go over them in just a second. But I want to step up one thing, and that's where we're going to look now at my military set and little tips and tricks I've learned with the military set. And I'm going to zoom the camera in a little bit better so you can see better. But I found in the long run that's why it's one of my favorite stoves, especially when, like, me and my wife are going. It's a day trip, and we're just going to go enjoy it. I want to heat up lunch. Or we've got the family over, and we're going to be out on the back deck or something talking, and we just want something we can heat up right quick without having to run back in the house. That's where this stove truly shines. So let me set the camera up, and we'll take a look at it. Okay. Here is my Trangia military stove, and this one is one of the, I believe it's aluminum. I painted it with... Barbecue paint, I've talked about that in other videos. I think it keeps it easier to clean, etc. But, pull that off. First modification I've made to the actual windscreen. As it comes from the uh, manufacturer, you have the skillet top, which has these little legs that stand up. For you to stick a stick into it to have a stick. And you just about got to have a stick because the way it sits in here, like this, when it's burning, the fire's coming out this hole right here, and this handle is right above it. And that handle gets wicked hot in short order. Before the food is ready, that handle is so hot you can't grab it. If you grab it with the glove, it might even burn you then. So I got to looking at it and pondering it about how I could improve this where I could do this without burning my hand because the flames just roar out right here underneath the handle. So, and I mentioned this in an earlier video, I went to the far side and I cut a notch. Is that notch right there? I made it so it will sit that way. Now that stove can be roaring and boiling and cooking and I can grab the handle and pick it up without having to, uh, I got a little bent there without having to burn my hand. I can pick that up after it's been cooking for 20 minutes and not burn my hand. So that little modification is the first one. Get on this side and measure down and across to make it where that handle will just sit down there like that. That's all you gotta know. Real simple. Second, carrying your stove inside of the pot, you want to put something around the Trangia itself because it is brass, or actually an alloy, and these are aluminum or stainless steel, and the two metals will react with each other over time. And you'll end up with a like a corrosion hole, and eventually it'll wear a hole in the pot over years. So what I do is I just take the toe of a sock. I take an old sock that's given up the ghost, and I tear it off, cut it off, so that it just fits around the entire Trangia just like that. Now that protects the Trangia all the way around, sits in there no problem, and it also, when it's not in use for that, it gives me a rag that I can grab hot stuff with. See what I'm saying? Because that toe of that sock will easily fit on the fingers and allow me to hook and pick stuff up without burning myself. I actually can easily just double it and wrap it around to grab stuff as well. But, the Trangia sitting on the ground, Okay. Then you put the cover over it. And I see this so much because it's blazing away, it's burning. And they go to put it out. And there's a cauldron of fire coming up out of here because it's getting close to being done. And they go do this and they stick your hand down in that column of flame trying to real quickly do it without burning themselves. There's a better way to do that. If you look here on the side, you see this slot right here for the handle? You see that metal leg that folds in there for you to sit your pots on? Okay. 
when the fire is done and I want to extinguish it and I've lifted the food off, take your knife, stick it underneath there into that slot and pick the windscreen off. Now you can come from the side and put that lid on and not have to put your hand down that scalding cauldron. But it's really simply just to slide it in there, cook and pick up the hot windscreen and sit it over there. And now take the lid and snuff it out really quick without burning your fingers. Third trick. I want to fry something with my little skillet. And I've got my Tringia set right here. And this is okay, but it's not big enough. The surface area, I want to fry in this. If I put it over the top of this, it, it doesn't sit well. These edges are not uniform, and it may or it may not fit. It may tip in as well. So I learned this trick. Pull those legs for those, those uh, leaning legs right there straight down. Turn it upside down. Now sit and hook them on the edge of that flange, just like that. And you can see it sits in there, just like that. Make now that holds it. Now I've got a big surface. I can put a bigger pot on it. The fire will come out these holes around here, the heat will. But it, heat is trapped there, flares up, makes this whole top nice and hot. And that pot sitting dead center of it. So not only does it heat the center, it spreads the heat out. And so a larger pot can now sit on that upside down windscreen. It sucks air just as good. Also, in a crisis situation where I do not have any fuel left and I'm completely out of fuel for whatever reason, you turn this upside down and build a fire in it and stick sticks into this hole and you've got a wood stove. So it's a wood stove, it's a big pot, Trangia. It's a cool handle grabber all in one package. That's why this is one of my favorite stoves there is. Hope this gives you some ideas guys. Please leave any questions or comments below. And do me a favor and hit that like, share, and subscribe button before you go. Till next time, I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.